Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here I'll be showing you how to clean a carburetor using an ultrasonic cleaner. For this I'm using my Vivor 6 liter heated 40 hertz version. A link to this will be included in the video description. It's an affiliated link, so with every sale I do get a small percentage of cutback to help keep my channel going. For this I have three different examples using lawnmower carburetors. Based on the size of your ultrasonic cleaner will depend on what size carburetor you can clean. This size is perfect for small engine carburetors, but it may be slightly too small for some vehicle carburetors depending on their size. It's always a good idea to disassemble the carburetor completely so the sound waves are able to efficiently work through the components removing any debris. Here you can see the carburetor is somewhat dirty. This is one of the cleaner examples I have. I will be doing a total of three examples. Any small components such as the jets, needle, nuts, bolts go inside a mesh container. I always use a basket as this will protect the container of the ultrasonic cleaner. Put the components inside and then add the water. It should be close to the fill line on the container. I have put everything inside the ultrasonic cleaner from the carburetor. This includes any plastic components, the float bowl, the intake tube, carburetor, float, etc. After some research I did find pine saw does work excellent as a cleaner. So some pine saw was added to the water solution. Make sure you are working in a well ventilated area as the smell can get quite strong. Then the ultrasonic cleaner is turned on along with the heating element. As you can see once it's activated, the cloudiness in the water is any debris coming off. This works on a 30 minute interval. Depending on the state of your carburetor, you may need to have it run for one to two hours. Once it's done, you can remove the carburetor and its components and then rinse off with the clean water. Some of the carburetor examples in this video do have sticky linkage and it does seem to free them up once it's in the ultrasonic cleaner. You can see the carburetor has came out quite a bit cleaner. Now for the next example again is disassembly of the carburetor. Again those components are placed in the basket. I'm using the same dirty water and soap solution mixture. I do find that this can be used quite a few times before needing to be replaced. Once the ultrasonic cleaner is on, you can see the debris clouds coming off the components. I do find it is extremely important to have the solution heated as it does aid in the cleaning process. Once done, the components are rinsed off in water and you can see they are quite a bit cleaner. This carburetor too also had a sticking choke and throttle butterfly. And finally is the third dirtiest example, again was disassembling the carburetor as well. You can see there is quite a bit of buildup of debris and corrosion here. Place the wire basket inside the solution and then turn on the ultrasonic cleaner. The lid does help with preventing the solution from evaporating so it's always important to keep it on. Once done here you can see the carburetor is greatly improved. Sometimes I do recommend using compressed air to clean out any ports where debris or water may be left over. If you do find an excessively plugged port you can use torch cleaning tips to help break any debris away. However, keep in mind that they are abrasive and may open up small orifices which you don't want. This can mess up your air fuel mixture. After that, the carburetor can then be reassembled and reinstalled back onto your small engine. If you have any tips for carburetor cleaning in an ultrasonic cleaner, please be sure to share them in the comments below to help out fellow viewers. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.